Hi, friends. Here's Derek here. Let's talk with friends. We will see as Joseph type me again. Won't be long, but it'll be happy. Happy song. Well, yeah. I've not really seen very many ENTPs play music, but okay. <laughs> uh, you know, that sounds kind of SP-ish to me. That's because you don't know anything at all about cognitive functions. You have no concept of how to type people at all. You don't even have a system. You don't know what a cognitive attentional manner is. You don't understand what a process is versus an attribute. And you think you can live in your shadow for years at a time, even though that makes no sense if you understand that they are different ways of paying attention. They are reflexive and built in like right handed to this and left handed to this. C.S. Joseph. You know, what you could try to do is actually... Well, my I have my own expectations, and you can take your expectations and shove them up your ass, is withdraw. Mixed with a little eight. <laughs> shove them up the ass part. Uh, but I think, I actually think avoid, confront, withdraw is a good order of operations. Uh, I do. How does that fit in with your ESTP typing in me, CSS? I don't Joseph? seek out conflict. I try to avoid it. When I face it. I try to win the battle. If it looks like it's going to be too long of a war, I quit. <laughs> you know. Yes, Forty. I'm aware I just typed an ENTP position. You don't know how to type anybody, C.S. Joseph. That's the reason I said that. <laughs> I mean, maybe he is an ENTP, right? <laughs> I, I definitely am an ENTP, C.S. Joseph, and you definitely are not. The thing is, you're such a sniveling little... Look at look at this. Look at the way he's carrying himself. For, for anybody who wants to come to me and say, C.S. Joseph knows what he's talking about. C.S. Joseph has a, a different system than yours. He's an ENTP too, Eric. All this other shit. Then have him come debate me face to face. C.S. Joseph, please come debate me face to face about my type and yours. Look between your legs and see if you still have testicles there. And if you do, or if you ever did, I'm not sure, um, come actually engage with me directly rather than doing this bullshit. Oh, I know. It's true. I'm not going to pay you $100 to pull shit out of your ass. <laughs> what do you think an ENTP is, C.S. Joseph? An ENTP is somebody who has extroverted intuition in the dominant function. What do you think extroverted intuition is? It's a talking function. It's an ideational function. It's a creative function. It's an action function. What does a function mean? What is a function, C.S. Joseph? Like, what's a function in math, for example? Do you know? You clearly have no concept of how to model anything. You don't have a model. You have a bunch of random nonsense that you throw out there and I guess you apply it consistently which is why you're always wrong um, you know if you apply the wrong approach consistently you will consistently get the wrong answer and you know no sane typologist no sane person in the typing community imagines me as being anything ever but an ENTP you say you typed an ENTP whatever earlier or something See, it's just if, if you type somebody as an ENTP, they definitely are not an ENTP. You think you're an ENTP. And you definitely have no extroverted intuition. Definitely have no TI, like, worth anything. I mean, it's somewhere in your stack, but it's not. neither of those are worth shit. So, how do we know, how can we know for sure who's right, you or me? Well, you can come debate me. You can come talk to me. You can man up. Right? You don't have to be an abject coward, a sniveling coward. If you are not a sniveling coward, then please come engage with me directly. Let's debate the subject. Answer my questions. Face the music. You won't. To so everybody who, who's a C.S. Joseph fan who doesn't like this video, just go tell him, give, go, go show Eric a thing or two. Go kick his ass, C.S. Joseph. You go in, incite him into action if you can. Or shame him into action. I mean, look, he's continually displaying contempt, disgust, and dismissal of things. 
It's his number one MO. He's contemptuous, he's dismissive, and he's disgusted by everything that runs afoul of his order of operations. So, I mean, he's... He's an irritant in the sense that he's spreading a bunch of disinformation. He's an irritant in the sense that he's really hammering the monetary angle, like, you know, kind of ridiculously so. And additionally, he is... He's creating a cult-like atmosphere. You know, it, it, it's exactly what happens when you cannot face objective criticism, and he can't face it. He astroturfs his comments. He bans people from his live chats. Anybody who disagrees with him, and uh, he ought not be rewarded for that. I mean, the thing is, you might say, "Well, Eric, you're jealous because you got twenty six. I don't give a fuck, <laughs> man. If if I had to sell my soul to get twenty six thousand subscribers, fuck it. It's not worth it." You know, I'm not going to exploit people. I'm not going to lie to them. I'm not going to uh, try to squeeze every last penny out of everybody for every little thing I can possibly do. It's ridiculous. It's, I, you know, I have a community of friends here. Um, and nobody in my community is afraid to call bullshit on me. In fact, everybody's chomping at the bit. And when they do, I don't ask to the comments. And I don't avoid the questions. And I don't run away. The thing is, for all of his bluster, C.S. Joseph is in constant flight. He's fleeing the truth. He's fleeing engagement with people who want to challenge him. He's fleeing an honest relationship with people. You know, I, I get that that being a YouTuber with some subscribers gives you some some weird status and clout and stuff. You know, I I don't think I would have. Well, I know it, because because it's YouTube channel and I'm with Rachel. You know, I put it out there on the YouTube channel. Hey, I'm looking for a girlfriend, and she made it very clear. I'm down. You know, I, I I'm interested. I I want you. Um, You know, but notice what I'm doing, and how how you can tell that I'm decent and honest and telling you the truth. One of the reasons is you see all the people in my life. You see them all the time. You see when I was with Kimberly, you saw Kimberly all the time. You saw my house. You saw when Spacey was around a lot. You saw Spacey. You know, I tell you what's going on, and you see evidence of it over and over again. When I go to get a chick from the channel, I plan to marry her. You know, it's like I'm not I'm not looking to to fuck my way through the community. Um I'm not looking to initiate a bunch of unhealthy relationships that don't go anywhere. I'm not used I'm not looking to manipulate people, I'm not looking to control people, and I'm not looking to mislead them. There's a responsibility that comes with this. If I can just talk to you for a second, Chase. There's a responsibility that comes along with this. You gotta take it a little bit more seriously. I mean... I, I used to... Just think it was all a big joke, too. You know? Like... I'm really... I'm really... I'm really, want, I'm really getting one over on people because I'm, they're watching my videos or something. Uh, you know, of course, I realized pretty quickly that no, they're they're doing me a great favor. I ought to treat them accordingly. The people who watch my videos and try to make as good of videos as I can and try not to mislead people and and increasingly to become to walk a narrow path, to become a white wizard. This 
stuff we do is wizardry, and you're casting a bunch of garbage spells out into the world that that do nobody any good. I don't, I don't care how many people come and say, listen, I worked the CS Joseph and it was the most amazing thing ever. He really saved it by marriage. Well, then working with anybody would have done the same thing. Uh, or you just want somebody to confidently tell you things because this man doesn't know anything. He doesn't know anything worth sharing with anybody. He doesn't have any information that's accurate. He doesn't know how to type people at all. And most importantly, he doesn't understand what it means to be ontologically developing. Um, it includes an intellectual component, Chase. If you're not willing to develop intellectually at all, if you're not willing to see where you're wrong and make changes, then you'll always be stuck in this cesspool. You can't possibly be happy with what you got going on. I mean, you got to go to bed every night knowing that you got to keep running. You got to keep running and running and running and running. And avoiding, dismissing, being disgusted by, being contemptuous of, and never addressing what the smart people are saying. That's got to be tough. You wake up every morning knowing, I'm still, I still believe myself to be that obese kid who, who had no self-worth before I got gastric bypass. Um, you don't have to be that. The alternative, it, you were a much better person then. We are moral agents, C.S. Joseph, you and I, as is everyone else. We have a responsibility to not lie to people, to not be so enamored of our own words, of our own thoughts, that we are unable and unwilling to listen to others that we are unable and unwilling to face the actual consequences of what we have said, the actual consequences of what we have done. You need to be held to account. Who's holding you to account on your channel? I've got a lot of community members who hold me to account. I have to walk a very narrow path because I am accountable to people. If I say something and you want to call me out on it, I'm going to respond. I'm not going to run away. I choose to live a life that's mostly entirely free of cowardice. Occasionally I get a little bit of avoidance, kind of cowardiness going on. But remember, we're talking about intellectual cowardice. We're talking about spiritual cowardice that you suffer from, not physical cowardice. I'm not an ESP. I'm not saying you go out there and get in fist fights. I am saying. Be brave enough to be vulnerable. If you can't do that, you'll always be this douchebag. Vulnerability starts with saying, hey, look, I've been blowing a lot of smoke here. I'm C.S. Joseph, and it's been working. i got 27,000 subscribers. But the truth is, I don't really get what Eric's saying. I don't really understand what he's saying. He keeps talking about processes versus attributes. I don't really know what the difference is. And there's nothing wrong with that. And if I'm vulnerable and honest and admit that I kind of got to go back to the drawing board a bit with the ideas, then I can become a real human being instead of this toxic caricature of, of a media personality that you are. Anyway, that's my response to this garbage. There's no point in watching and fucking type. He's already decided I'm an ESTP, and everything he sees is just proof that I'm an ESTP. And I've never seen an ESTP who likes playing music. Well, are you serious? I mean, seriously? Are you that confused about typology? And do you think ESTPs aren't creative? I mean, you're not, and you think you're an ESTP, so... I guess that's what you're 
that's that's your line of reasoning maybe well anyway you're not an hp obviously cs joseph and i obviously am an hp and if you weren't so spiteful i think you were trolling but the amount of like just toxic spite within this guy it's you can see it on his face look at it he doesn't get a chance to actually have any wins is why he can't have any wins he never engages anybody who's an actual opponent so what does he have instead he gets the satisfaction of seeing others squirm or suffer or something that's the kind of toxic spite I'm talking about when somebody's likes to make you squirm whoever you are in your in your life you know they're they complain about something not because they're looking for actual solvency but because they want to see you squirm they say things not because they actually are meaningful but because they want to convey disgust dismissal contempt i mean i display those things plenty of times too but you'll note the difference what i'm displaying disgust contempt and dismissal of is a refusal to engage human beings as a human being like you know the the motto of this channel has been a number of different things but for a while it was fans uh, friends not fans CS Joseph is the opposite fans not friends he does not want to be your friend he does not want to know you he does not want there to be a a democratic equivalency between you if you're a fan of his if you're giving him money in these super chats and stuff you're not doing him any favors he's he's sick he needs he needs some tough love he needs a cold heart awakening that he's been found out that it's not working anymore that there's just too many inconsistencies too little support logically too little support with the any kind of conventional understanding of things too little support with any empirics it's just his arbitrary declarations and decrees which people like this guy you know healthy gay ENTP you are not a healthy gay ENTP you're not remotely healthy otherwise you wouldn't you wouldn't dismiss me entirely as a confused ESTP drug burnout I mean do I sound confused I mean I'm explaining to you how to be decent which means being fair you know addressing my words not random correlates that you think make me invalid as a human being so what you're doing you say you're a healthy gay ENTP but you're engaged in the same sort of ontological violence that homophobes engage in so if I say you're bad because you're gay and we shouldn't listen to anything you say well that's the same thing as you're saying that uh, I'm a confused ESTP drug burnout you haven't actually addressed anything I said here at all. You haven't said, Eric's wrong about this. I love those kind of statements. Those kind of statements are worthwhile. They show that you are engaging in a thoughtful way. Instead, you attack something. You, you make a false statement about me. You say, I'm confused. I'm not confused at all. I'm obviously very clear in my thinking and able to articulate it very well, as I am doing right now. You accuse me of being an ESTP. I'm not an ESTP. There's no reason to believe I am except for C.S. Joseph's arbitrary type typing of me as such. Um, remember, that's a reason to think I'm not an ESTP. C.S. Joseph is almost always wrong about everybody. He doesn't understand what extroverted intuition is. If you ask him what it is, he won't talk about a process. He'll talk about something else because he doesn't understand what an attentional manner is. It's like saying he's a great baseball player when he doesn't know what a baseball is, when he doesn't have a bat or know what it is, when he doesn't know what a glove is, when he doesn't know what a diamond is, he's never seen a baseball field, but he's here 
engaging in baseball theater, saying things like, home runs are from blah, 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 he's making shit up. Well, if you're also not very familiar with baseball, you might think he's an expert on baseball. After all, he spends all his time talking about it. That doesn't make him an expert. That makes him the world's most prolific source of disinformation. So, uh, you know, healthy gay HP, if you happen to watch this, um, think about it. Think about what I'm saying. You've chosen to reduce all people who've used drugs or who smoke weed to disposable trash. Like people used to do with gay people. Do you think that was okay? Do you think what you're doing is okay? It's not. You don't want to follow C.S. Joseph's lead here. Now, also, how the gay ENTP, you're almost certainly not an ENTP. I almost guarantee you. Okay? We're pretty uncommon. If you think you're an ENTP because you like C.S. Joseph, you're definitely not an ENTP because he's definitely not an ENTP. Regardless, um, we all have a, a choice. We can choose to engage honestly, directly, openly, vulnerably, so that we know that we're not always right. I'd be happy for C.S. Joseph to tell me, here's where you're wrong, Eric, because he would be actually engaging ideas. He won't ever do that. He'll just tell me how many he has to be. Won't even tell me. Because, like I said, his whole life, until he steps up and mans up, and says, okay, I'm not going to run this time. I'm going to be a man, I'm going to turn around, I'm going to fight this fight. Until he finally does that, no matter how much he convinces his audience, to the contrary, he knows every night before he goes to bed, every morning when he wakes up, that he lives a life of cowardice. I wouldn't change places with him for all the subscribers in the world.